Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. You're back! How nice for you! Does that mean you've made a decision? Or are you lost? Suicidal? Just let me know. Sil? Or Thaden? Which will it be? A safer choice, perhaps. Maybe you'll live through this. Thaden's a bit lost these days. Not that it's a bad thing, it suits him. <laughs> Until now. Besides, won't it be a grand surprise when you make his heart burst from too much green moat? Thaden loves surprises. It'll be in full swing soon. Excited? You shouldn't be. It's the death of all things. But if we can get you into shape, we might stand a chance. You'll lead my forces. Inspire my people! Hopefully, everyone won't end up dead. He'll be here soon, and I'll be gone. Can't say I like the sound of that. I like the sound of other things, though, like birds and bones cracking. Thaden may be in a constant state of euphoria, but I wouldn't underestimate his intelligence. Ha <laughs> ha! This is so much fun! We will speak when your task is complete. Confused already? How very disappointing. If I were you, and thank Sheyagorath that I'm not, I would begin with the people who spend their day closest to Thaden. Ah, you're the one who lit the great torch for us. Well done. Raven Biter runs the choosy beggar. Not a bad place. If I were you, I'd check with Thedon's steward, Wide-Eye. You can usually find her roaming around New Sheath, or spending a lot of time on the palace grounds. See you later. What can I do for you on this fine, fine day? Duma Grobonk at the Missing Pauldron is collecting that amber you find in the root tunnels. May all your days be filled with enlightenment and mirth. How can I help you this fine day? That Museum of Oddities is a joke, although I hear Una Armina will pay for certain items. Such a kind and noble man. In times like these, it's good to have a leader who still enjoys all the modern pleasures Mania has to offer. Well, yes, apart from enjoying his painting, reading a good book, or a rousing night of erotic bedroom games. I'm speaking of Greenmoat, of course. There is no greater pleasure. If I didn't have such a busy daily routine, I'd likely indulge myself in its pleasures more often. Very well, I see little harm in telling you. After a bit of reading in the garden and running my special errand at noon, I like to shop at Books of Bliss. Around 8 p.m. we are served dinner. Gundlar is quite a chef and prepares Thaden's meals personally, adding just a hint of green moat. After that, we dance, we sing, or we do whatever else suits my lord's tastes. Green moat is the refined version of the spores that are harvested from the spore trees that dot mania. We keep the green moat safely tucked inside the green moat silo. You can imagine the ruckus if its location was known. 
Only a select few, such as myself, know the silo's location. However, we are sworn to secrecy. There isn't enough gold or enough jokes in the world that would convince me to tell you where the green moat is located. Yes, I must attend to him. Speaking to you has already cost me time. I must go. Good day to you. Ah, you again. A pleasure, I'm sure. No time for chatter now. I have a few important things to attend to. Or did I? Ah, well. Welcome to the House of Mania. Speak quickly, mortal.
You really shouldn't be here. Halt, lawbreaker. Lord Shea go rest. Hello again, my friend. Blessings of the Mad God. Stay away from Greenmoat. Your enemy will just use it to lull you into a false sense of security before he strikes. I hear the heretics in the lands of Mania summon hungers to fight by their sides. Bye. Once again, we meet. That museum of oddities is a... I'm sure we we'll Do you have business in the house? Bye. Blessings, citizen. Choices, choices. Well, now that you've liberated some green moat from the silo, you need to add it to Thaden's food and wine. 
The kitchens are a good place to start, but they are deep in his quarters, guarded by more saints. So, once again, you have choices to sneak or to kill. Be cautious, these saints are some of his most elite. Welcome to the House of Mania. Ah, you again. A pleasure, I'm sure. The victor of Cylon. All Great hail friend. the Great Torch of Mania. Hello again, my friend. What can I do for you on this fine, fine day? I've heard of such a grand place. Ah, to imagine all that wonderful green moat under one roof. Knights of Order have appeared in the Isles. I hear they come from the obelisks. May all your days be filled with enlightenment and mercy. Welcome to the Halcyon Conservatory. Welcome to the Halcyon Conservatory. Yes, I feel especially delighted this evening. Perhaps it's time I recited my latest soliloquy. Ahem. The lady fair, our love is told, with hair as fine as soft spun gold. Lips as red as a sun-drenched dawn, skin as soft. As a newborn thorn. Eyes as blue 
as a cerulean sea. Yeah. What? My heart can't breathe. Help me. I never suspected it was Thaden's time, but what's done is done. I honor his choice. I'm sure we'll speak again. There's no need to mourn. The ritual has begun. Be happy. May all your days be filled with enlightenment and mirth. Well, now that you possess Thaden's drug-tainted blood, I'd make my way to the Sasellum as soon as possible. Lord Sheogorath doesn't like to be kept waiting. Here we are, safe. See you. You're the one who restored the Knights of the... See you later. Once again has the ritual of accession come full circle. The blood of Thaden has been consumed by Arden Sul's will, and all of Mania welcomes you with open arms. I now declare you Duke of Mania of the Shivering Isles. May your light shine upon all our happiest days. Tilsa Araleth has quite a collection of things for sale at Common Treasures. May Arden Sul enrich your mind and guide your heart. You've done it! The ritual is complete and you've survived! A shame about Thedon, but it's how he would have wanted it to go. Now, on to other... Wait, I must speak. The ritual must not be completed. Sil! You dare interrupt me? Only I interrupt me. Like just then. I'm speaking with someone. We'll talk later. Or not. When is later exactly? Not now, I'm sure of that. Guards! I think Syl forgot how to use the door. Kindly show her out. Before I forget myself. Thaden? Dead? You've done this! It was you all along! Hold your tongue, little duchess, or I'll tear it from your mouth. Replacing Thaden with this outsider? This is how it ends! I should have seen this coming! Calm yourself, Syl. You're making my teeth itch! You still hold your office? 
I suggest you see to your duties. No, I see what's going on. I should have seen it before. You conspire to destroy us all. You're a fool if you think I'll allow this to happen. Fool? Visionary! Changes in the air, Sill. Breathe it deep. Bathe in its scent. Bottle it up. Save some for later. Order stands at our door. They've taken the fringe. Did you even know? Do you care? And you speak of change. Change will preserve us. It is the lifeblood of the Isles. It will move mountains. It will mount movements. No, I can't do this. There has to be a way out. A way to escape. Then go, Sil. Return to your quarters before I send you back in pieces. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll go. The enemy of my enemy orders the key. I'll keep them close. No! Let her go. This is not over, Mad God. I give myself to Jigalag. As a priest of order, I'll be safe. Your empire will crumble before the armies of order. Wondering why I let her go, aren't you? I can see it in your face. Mostly in the eyes. I may take those from you when this is done. This has never happened before! The ruler of the Mencha turning traitor? Unprecedented! I've seen others defect, but never a duke! Maybe we're onto something here. We'll see how it plays out. It can't be worse than what's happened before. I do, I did, and I won't say it again. But that's enough about that. You're the ruler of mania. Oh, just look at you. You're positively beaming. You now have the power to summon golden saints. They've always served the Duke of Mania. I think it's the bright colors. They just love them. And here is the Ring of Lordship, a symbol of your new station. Symbols are important. They carry weight in this realm and others. You would be well served to remember that. She was right about that. I can feel it in my bones. The little ones. The Grey March has swept the fringe. Aura gathers its forces there as we speak. And I hate when people gather forces in my fringe. You'll need to put an end to that. Stop them. My army should already be there. But I want you to see what you can do to help. If they continue to marshal their forces there, we won't be able to contain them. Make sure they can't. It swept the fringe. That's not good. See if you can't hold them off there. Because if you can't, everyone is going to die. No pressure. They'll get more and more active as the Grey March continues. If they've already taken the fringe, they must have one there already. I really hate those things. Ta, come. It would seem that the fringe has come under attack. The longer you wait to investigate, the harder it will be for you to do as you are told.
your grace. Your Grace, a dark time has been thrust upon us. Passwall is under attack. We are outmatched and outnumbered. At first light, the spire at the center of town became active. Immediately, the area around it began to crystallize and change. Soon after that, the sky darkened and the knights came. The knights are relentless. They do not tire, they do not fear, and they do not stop coming. They appear out of nowhere at the base of the spire. We kill five of them, five more come. We've lost too many of the Orioles already. I fear that we will not be able to hold the town for much longer. You've seen the spire in Passwall. It is believed to be a monument from times past, but its true purpose appears to be more sinister. It appears to be a source of power for these invaders. A... a portal or some sort of gate. I don't know. If we cannot disable or destroy it somehow, I do not think that we can stop this invasion. I have an idea how we might be able to stop them, but for now we must survive. I've been losing Orioles with each attack, and I'm down to nothing but men. We are pinned down here. If we lose, the Gates of Madness will fall. If the Gates fall, the enemy will flood into the Isles. We will be helpless to stop them. But now that you've arrived, perhaps we can slow them down. We cannot talk now. We don't have very long until the next wave arrives. Even though I have served with these Orioles for centuries, as the Duke of Mania, it is your right to command the troops. Command them if you will, or leave it to me. Either way, make haste. Our time is short. I thank you for your trust. In your name, and for the sake of the Shivering Isles, I shall not disappoint you. Inspect the battlefield and provide what aid you can to the troops. Speak with me when you feel that they are ready for battle. Form up! By the staff, we will not allow this town to fall. Are you prepared for battle, Your Grace? I imagine that we will not have to wait long, Your Grace. The knights are relentless. We are the only thing standing between them and the total destruction of the Fringe. This town has stood on the edge of the Shivering Isles since they were born from the mists of time. For our purposes, it serves as a defensible outpost. That is, against typical enemies who can know fear, intimidation, and hopelessness. You've seen the Spire in Passwall. It is believed to be a monument from times past, but its true purpose appears to be more sinister. It seems to be a source of power for these invaders, a... a portal or some sort of gate. I don't know. If we cannot disable or destroy it somehow, I do not think that we can stop this invasion. Go. Here they come!
battle is upon us. This is no time for talk. Victory is ours, for the moment. We must discuss our next move. The Spire is obviously their source of power. This battle will not end until we find a way to shut it down. I am not certain, but do not lose heart. I have an idea. The ruins of Zedafen run under Passwall. The entrance to the south of the town has been sealed for centuries. One of my scouts reported that the ruins have been opened recently, and a number of these knights are now guarding the entrance. I did, and she did not return. I can only assume that she was caught and killed. If we attempt to assault Zedafen, Passwall will be overrun and we will lose the fringe. Additionally, our forces are dangerously thin. We have no idea what opposition may await us inside. Your insight is impressive. While we draw their attention here, you should be able to slip inside Zedafen. Once inside, search for the source of the Spire's power. It must be underground somewhere. Once you find it, destroy it. Good luck, Your Grace. May the truth light your way through the darkness. Go.
to the march of... Where are you? It's you. I remember you. What are you doing down here? How did you get past the knights? When they attacked, I ran from Passwall. 
They didn't say a word. They just started killing. The screams. By the staff, you can't imagine the screams. Phyllis and I slipped down here, thinking we'd be safe. But no, we landed right in the middle of them. Phyllis ran off with them and left me to die. Me! That ingrate, disloyal cur. Imagine leaving me here all alone. <laughs> I didn't say they took him. He went with them. I've heard his voice a few times around here. I think, I think he joined them. Every time I look for a way out, I get twisted around and end up back here. But I'm too smart for them. You seem to have no trouble, though. Look at you. Barely a scratch. You'd be the perfect person to protect me. This place is a nightmare. Nights everywhere, these priests, and whatever they've done to fellas. Listen, those people in Passwall need me. Can you imagine how they'd ever get along if I died down here? I'll do what I can to help. I... I like to hurt things. Maybe I can hurt these damn knights.
high. I cannot believe it. You survived. We were certain that your light had been lost. I apologize for doubting you, Your Grace. You are a most worthy leader, perhaps the greatest warrior to ever hold the seat of Mania. But I fear that our work is not yet done. The area is still overrun with knights that were not destroyed in the Spire. You should return to the palace and speak with Sheogorath. Ask him how he plans to defend this realm. Haswell must have a new dawn. The struggle will be great, but I have no doubt that we shall overcome this dark time. Whatever you did overloaded it and brought the whole thing down. It collapsed Zedifin itself. I'm amazed that you were not killed. Go. Yes, is there something you require? In the fringe, you can see for yourself the devastation that accompanies the Grey March. Let us hope you are up to the task of stopping it.
The appearance of the Knights of Order heralds the beginning of the Grey March. As Lord Sheogorath feared, our time grows ever shorter. Although they are not composed of flesh as you know it, like any other enemy, they can be destroyed with sword and spell. Separate the meat from bone, and they will die. When they do so, their crystalline hearts often remain intact. These hearts are a source of power for the agents of order. You may find them quite useful in certain situations. Unlike typical invaders, the knights do not arrive by conventional means. Instead, they enter the Shivering Isles through conduits into this realm. These crystalline obelisks have existed throughout the realm for all of eternity. You will find they become more active as the Grey March progresses. Lord Sheogorath has never succeeded in doing so. They continue to grow in numbers until Jigalag himself arrives. That advance can be slowed. By destroying the obelisks, the knights lose their conduits into the isles. Very well, Your Grace. Will there be anything else? The obelisks operate by reflecting and focusing energies in order to create a portal to this realm. They can be overloaded and rendered inert by placing the crystalline hearts of the knights into the obelisk itself. Each heart will increase the power of the obelisk until it eventually overloads and shuts down, closing the portal. If only we could speak more. News of your success in the fringe precedes you. To further cement the victory, I have an important task for you to perform. You will seek the assistance of Relmina Veranum in Zalselm to rebuild the Gatekeeper. You remember? The creature you killed to get in here. With the Gatekeeper restored and Zedillion in operation, we won't have to worry about anything getting in. Things already here are another matter. You'll need to speak with Relmina Veranum She'll help you with your task. Strange woman has some unusual tastes. With that done, the fringe should be secure. For now. I can feel things start to get a little hairy. And not in the good way, like on your head. It's all moving faster than I'd expect. And I'm good at expecting. Things are getting a bit thin. Get that gatekeeper in place. And do it quickly! I'm not sure how much time I have left! He's almost here! I can feel it! You won't like him as much as me! He doesn't even carry a cane! More the giant bone-cleaving sword type of prince. If he's on his way, I'm on my way out. I already feel... Not quite myself. Not quite someone else, but not quite myself. It's essential. Simply essential. If only it were essentially simple, but it's not! I want him there guarding those gates. If any of Jigalag's forces show up, he should be ready for them. It wouldn't do to just let them in if more show up. And more always show up. Still and all, I think things are going well, considering... Go talk to Relmina in Zaselm. Tell her you're working for me. Oh, she'd do anything for me, that little minx. A powerful sorceress. Maybe a genius? <laughs> and a complete lunatic. All in all, my kind of person. I brought her to my realm so she could continue to study her sixth element. Honestly, I didn't know there were five already. She's a bit obsessed with it. And with me! Makes dealing with her difficult. You shouldn't have any problems, though. No one likes you that much. Send Relmina, my love. Do you require assistance with the task Sheogorath has given you? The gatekeeper stood guard over the realm, keeping those not blessed by Sheogorath out. 
until you, your grace, slew him. Sheogorath has asked that you create a new gatekeeper to stand watch over the fringe. You should speak with Relmina Verenim as quickly as possible. I fear our time runs short. It appears to be inevitable, though your victory in the fringe is a new twist. I fear Sheogorath will be gone soon, however. His appearance seems imminent. His hatred for this land, for what it represents, is unimaginable. The obelisks operate by reflecting and focusing energies in order to create a portal to this realm. They can be overloaded and rendered inert by placing the crystalline hearts of the knights into the obelisk itself. Each heart will increase the power of the obelisk until it eventually overloads and shuts down, closing the portal. She is a powerful sorceress. She believes she has found a sixth element, the element of flesh. She was expelled from the Mages Guild for this belief and for the uh, extreme nature of her experiments. Our Lord took interest and brought her here so Relmina might continue her work, free of those provincial notions of decency and morality. You will find her in her sanctum, hidden away in the dungeon of Zaselm. Has your grace no interest in exploration and discovery? Very well. I shall mark a fast way to travel there on your map. Our Lord is always acquainted with Sorceress Varanim's current whereabouts. Her affections have caused him unnecessary annoyance in the past. If only we could speak more of... Welcome to the House of Mania. Welcome to the House of... Welcome to the House... Go. Speak... Your desires are my command, my lord. May all your days be filled with enlightenment and mirth. Welcome to the Halcyon Conservatory. you require, my lord. The Ballywog are known to carry swamp fever. Take heed the knife that strikes from behind. How may I assist you, my lord? Be wary. It gives me great pleasure to see you again, my lord. The fringe has been laid to waste. I do hope none of my poor children were caught up in it. Hi. Silarn is ours at last.
Does this hurt more or less than last time? No way! I'm never talking to you ever again. After she found out what I told you, she... She... You have no idea what pain is until she... She... Just leave me alone. Go away! You! I remember you! You're the adventurer who slew my gatekeeper, are you not? The ends justify the means, do they? You'll pay for that one day. Now, by all means, come right in. Walk in here as if you own the place. By what authority do you disturb me? See, Sheagorath is too important to come on his own account. He sends his mortal lackey. Well then, I trust my servants didn't give you too hard a time getting in here. <laughs> what is it Sheagorath's lackey requires of me? Ah, your tone is more in line with my station. Please continue. Yes, powerful magic indeed. It is proper that you bid me kindly, lest I show you the meaning of pain and suffering. Alas, I am still distraught over the destruction of my sweet child. I cannot return to his womb. You must do this. You will travel to the gardens of flesh and bone. There you will gather mystical components needed for the ceremony. Go fetch me blood liqueur, osseous marrow, dermis membrane, and essence of breath. And take this key. It will allow entry into the gardens and give you direct access to my sanctum. Oh, you mean my research subjects? 
Don't trouble yourself with their fates. They're volunteers of one sort and another. Besides, they are furthering important research into the nature of pain and suffering, of life and death. Don't be concerned. I always return the worthy ones to life. Besides, Lord Sheagorath has sanctioned my studies and my methods. Any loyal servant of the Mad God would respect his decision in this matter. I'm glad you are reasonable and open-minded. Perhaps Sheagorath's faith in you isn't misplaced after all. Now let's not speak of this again. For many years, I labored painstakingly in those gardens until my back bent and my soul became crooked. But the fruits born of that labor were the essential components of true flesh. You will go there and gather the components needed to bring my new child into this world. You will travel to the gardens of flesh and bone and collect for me these things. Blood liqueur, osseous marrow, dermis membrane, and the essence of breath. Are you not the exalted duke, slayer of the great gatekeeper, champion of our mighty lord, Sheagorath? I'm sure you'll be able to find these things. If not, perhaps Sheagorath's faith in you is misplaced. Go now. You try my patience. Bring me away. Please indicate on the scale of And we will continue this in the next episode, so if you liked this one give it a like, dislike if you think it sucked, and see you next time, thank you.